JC here with Nutritious Skin and today we're going to be making some shaving soap. It's been a long time, probably a couple years since I last made my batch, but we're going to attempt to do that today and I'm going to share with you the recipe that I like to use. So without further ado, let's get soaping. Okay, so I have my potassium and sodium hydroxide and I'm going to mix it in my ice water. Okay, so I have my oils in here, and what I have in here is 12.8 ounces of stearic acid, 12.8 ounces of tallow that I rendered from my parents' grass-fed beef, and we also have 6.4 ounces of shea butter. So it's all melted, and it's important to note too that stearic acid needs uh, has a very high um, melting point. So I found that I have to do this hot process because if I try to do it cold processed, the, the stearic acid coagulates and I end up having to throw it in the crock pot anyway to hot process it to fix it. So I'm going to go ahead and get my potassium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide with water mixture and we're going to dump it in and blend and then let it cook. Uh, you can see I'm pouring it in and because my water was kind of cool it's, my, my solution is um, coagulating shucks so I'm going to just hand stir right now I'm not going to blend it yet and I'm, I turned the heat setting from low to high Having a high amount of stearic acid can be a little tricky and so I guess I should have heated or you not let my lye solution cool off so much. I would have should have just added it hot and instead of mixing it with ice, I should have just used water and let it stay hot and then add it here. So that's what I should have done. And I'll have to write a note to myself to do that next time because like I said I don't make shaving soap often. Um, But that's definitely a good tip to know for you and for myself in the future. So I'm just gonna add the rest and I will just go ahead and stick blend and we'll see how this turns out. So I'm going to let this cook and I'm going to continue to stir it because I really want to make sure that um, the lye water is fully emulsed with the oils. Um, so I want to make sure that it's safe. So I'm just going to cook it I'm going to and I'll keep you apprised of time and whatnot. So it is on high setting. It's definitely like a mashed potato type look right now. Um, but I want to keep on cooking it until it gets to like a Vaseline uh, consistency. Kind of like a sheer look to it. It's been cooking for almost one hour on low and it's starting to finally turn into like the Vaseline stage. So go ahead and stir it up. 
Okay, so this has been cooking, as I mentioned, for an hour and 10 minutes. I had it on high for about 10 minutes and then I switched it down to the low setting on the crock pot because I just didn't want to risk scorching it or burning it. Um, but this is good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my crock pot off. I'm going to actually add 3.2 ounces of glycerin. This is a vegetable glycerin. It's going to help with like the slip and slide of the ra razor on the skin. And we'll just stir, stir and stir for a few minutes. And as it cools down a little, I'm going to add my fragrance. So I like to use um, patchouli or cedar wood. Okay, it's gonna start to harden up kind of quick, I think. So let's go ahead and add my scent. When adding the scent, I used a fragrance oil calculator from Brambleberry and I put in the amount of soap I was making and the essential oil that I was going to use. And I used the lighter recommendation. Usually they come up with a light, medium, or strong recommendation or usage rates. And I went with the light and I, then I went actually less than the light because the, the scent is going to be up by the nose and it's going to be a little stronger and I just didn't want it to overpower anybody's smelling senses. Um, so that was, I think this recipe, the light rate, it called for 0 0.96 ounces of essential oils, but I ended up using 0 0.75 ounces. So I went a little bit lower than the light usage rate. And you can see here, I put my mold in the measuring cup to help stabilize it so it wouldn't fall over. It's leaking. Um, I thought I had secured my mold properly, but obviously I hadn't. So when you do this, make sure if you use this type of mold, make sure it's squeezed tight. And you could even put some rub heavy duty rubber bands around it just to help secure it even better. So this batch just is not going well for me at this point, but sometimes everything will go perfectly and smoothly and sometimes everything that can go wrong does go wrong. But that's okay because we're gonna get through this and we're gonna our end result will still be some pretty great shaving soap. Now we'll let this sit for about 24 hours until it hardens up and then we'll cut it. just started whipping this up just a little bit I'm testing it out with my I grabbed my husband's uh, mug with his and I put a shave soap in here and just started whipping it up and you can see the really nice lather on this I mean so creamy and luxurious very dense mousse type lather it's super nice 
I love this recipe and he likes it too. It's what he's been using now for, oh, I don't know, a few years or so. 